Okay. Uh, you know what? After last episode, I was kind of waffling on whether or not I wanted to do the DLC missions and unlock some extra characters. I think we're gonna- I think we are going to do that now. Mainly because getting those extra characters early means I'll be able to kind of perfect a team. And I know I could use, like, monster units and some other things, but... I think just having the extra people on hand will just kind of simplify things for me. Or it'll make it way, way worse. Anyway, so we're going to do a couple of things. Oh, right, we've got a measle. Anyway, we actually have a... Oh. I have to do this with... Interesting. I have to do this with Velvatoris, so we actually have Hades Field Trip. I don't recognize you. Who are you? Hello, nice to meet you. We came uh, came from Evil Academy. My name is Rutile. And I'm Stella Grosselar. I'm training to become a Demon Lord. We're here to become Prinny Instructors. From what I've heard, it's the lowest of all jobs. S Stella, that's rude. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. For intellectual students like you, my job is rather low, but I take this job very seriously. I train pretties before sending them out into the netherworld, and I take pride in that. That's amazing. I never imagined a demon could love pretties so much. I I was taking this too lightly. I, I'll study hard, so please, let us observe what you do here. Pretty please? So I believe these are two characters from Disgaea 3 that got kind of ported over. And everybody is super down with this. Ooh. Thank you. We finally got permission. Now, I'd like to see what this is all about. Aren't you excited, Stella? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds like you two are really hardworking. I should teach you precisely what being a pretty instructor is all about. All right. You can stay for m more than just today. Study here as long as you want. Now, let's go, my tra trainees. Okay, so we now have these two. Mighty Star, so MA President and Transfer Student. Half human, half Nekamata. Uh, let's see, so she uses swords, spears, and axes. And she uses swords, spears, and staves. Daughter of a Majin likes pulling pranks and has really bad taste. Mighty Star. Increased stats by 25% for adjacent unit. Decrease theirs by 25%. Increase stats by 5% per ally linked by adjacency. Not bad. Okay, uh, I want to check. What is Mighty Star? Stella's favorite sword. Good for pulling pranks. I'll have to see what it looks like in use. Before I decide too much there. Anyway, so we're just going to go on a recruitment spree, and then I'll sort my team down into the people that I really, really like. And then we'll go back to playing the game properly. So, new party, looking for more members. And, yeah, might be some spoilers here, but I'll just deal with it. Okay, working on their own goals. This is members of the new Hades party as they bend it together to help Valvatoris. Velvatoris still works as a pretty instructor. Fenric watched his lord and kept telling him himself that his lord still has much bigger things to accomplish. I need my lord to usurp the regime or else. So why'd you make us come here all of a sudden? I'm not even going to try voice acting these characters. It's too early in the day for that. Also, some of these voices. Desko and Big Sis were in the middle of important training exercises. Did you really need to interrupt us? My lord, I've gathered our party members here to plan for our future. Our party members, the evil election is over. Mm -hmm. The position of president is just another job title compared to your presence, my lord. I wish for my lord to aim even higher. Why am I working my butt off to become the president? Today we have some new member candidates to interview. I'd like you to participate as well, my lord. Uh. Okay, so... We kind of knew she was going to join us, but I guess she's just part of the cutscene. Anyway, let's begin the interview. Mr. Adele, please introduce yourself and tell us why you want the position. Hi, my name's Adele. I'm a demon hunter. I live in One Holt Village, Veldheim. 
he's kind of ridiculous, but I still like his design. Helldime. Doesn't ring a bell. Is it in a different nether netherworld? A different netherworld? Well, play Disgaea 2 for more details. He just plug his own game. Mr. Adel, what kind of things does a demon hunter do? I get requests from clients, and then I go exterminate demons. Because of all my hard work, my hometown is clean, clear of demons. As a demon, I'm not so sure about this guy. Consequently, I did so well that I'm now out of a job. My family needs more money to raise my younger siblings. As the oldest, I can't just sit around like a lazy bum. So, you see, this would be the perfect job for me. It'd be nice to get paid while putting my skills to good use. Sounds like you've been through a lot. Thank you very much. Now, declare your manifesto. I think that was manifesto, sorry. I'm going too fast for myself here. Sure, I've put a lot of thought into this. I think family is the most important is important to everyone, even demons, so. To give financial aid to all demon families, this is my manifesto. Financial aid, it's a good idea. But that means it'll cost us that much hell to support it. Our funds are limited. Father always had trouble raking up enough money. To make your manifesto possible, we're gonna have to collect taxes from other demons. Do you understand what that means? Of course, I will collect taxes from every demon. After all, demon extermination is just my style. Collecting from them if we exterminate them. Let's go better go prepare some money. I'm still voice acting. Whatever. Demon extermination is just my style, huh? Huh. That's what I like to hear. Mm-hmm. Now shall we test his power? Huh? Right now? Is he even ready for this? If he is going against demons, he better be ready at all times. Prepare or brace yourself. Bring it on! I can't fail this test for her sake. Now let's see what level he is. 37. Okay, this this should be doable. So it looks like this is actually going to be relatively easy, all things considered. Which is good. Okay, relatively easy. Okay. Also, the reason why uh, Fenric's uh, weapon... Oh, I forget which one that is. I think that it is actually Sardine Thief. Uh, the reason why he's all, always injured is actually just because, uh, because of the training weight. Which, I must have just never used training we weights before. Which I feel kind of weird about, but whatever. Okay, which of these has the most power? Probably dual canine attack. Okay, right. I was gonna have Flan. I'm not, I don't think Astros is really a particularly good weapon yet. But I think it still improves our stats, even by a bit. Okay, Dragon Meow. There we go. Oh, we should have started with Flom's attack in retrospect, but whatever. Well, he's almost dead. Uh, let's see, I didn't get a measle anything. Mighty Star. Eh, looks like an okay sword. Well, one way or another, it looks like recruiting all these spare characters is going to go pretty quickly. Who needs the EXP? I'm gonna give it to Fuka. She's just my weakest. There we go. And we get some money. Yeah, I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. Demon Hunter Adele, that wasn't bad. However, there are many demons who are much stronger than myself. If you can't defeat me, you won't be able to collect taxes from them.
demons are stronger than than Valzi. If you did fear the great, that makes you the strongest. Mr. Vampire, won't you consider for the sake of his family? Yes, Desco feels sorry for him. I promised my family. I promised that I'd make it big and return to them loaded with honors. I promised her too. Please, don't reject me just yet. Give me another chance. Huh. Who said you were being rejected? You already had the job before the test began. Your passion to change the netherworld. Based on your own experience, and if it helps fulfill the promise you made to your precious family, then I'm more than happy to accept you into my party. Y you mean it? Absolutely. Train hard and learn. Make it big and return to your family loaded with sardines. My lord, it was honors, not sardines. So, then what was the test for? I'm so happy for you, Mr. Adele. Family, huh? Better do my best to make father proud. And we get Adele. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. Okay, these aren't these aren't half bad. Let's take a look at Adele as we go by. Uh, fair and square. Increase inflicted damage by 30% when battling one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And if I remember right, he likes fists and swords. Hero who saved Veldheim from a crisis. Well, I guess I should probably heal just a bit. Oh, you know what weapons I haven't bought yet? Ogre horn. Not particularly useful in some of these guys. But yeah, I haven't gotten new, new equipment for... Uh, I haven't got new equipment for any of my my monster characters. Okay, new party. Uh, ladies' lesson. Our lord, I've recruited some potential demons to become future members of our party. Today we have some new member candidates to interview. I'd like to per you to participate as well. Mr. Vampire, this is going to be a huge responsibility. Fine, I'll interview the hell out of them. Now, where are the candidates? Miss Rosalind. I was wondering... I, I'm curious if they would have actually ported some of the Disgaea 5 characters down, but I doubt that... I doubt they would have done that. Bit of a shame. They they could have actually added on to this game as well. But I'm still just happy that they re-released it in such generally high quality. Like, some of the textures are still kind of fuzzy, and so on and so forth, but like, this looks pretty good. Anyway, let's begin the interview. Miss Rosalind, please introduce yourself and tell us why you're applying for this position. My name is Rosalind. I'm the one and only daughter of Overlord Xenon. I heard this position offers great pay, so I've traveled all the way here from Veldheim. The only daughter of an Overlord? That means she's kind of like what you used to be. Used to be? Shut up! I mean, sure, the President of the Netherworld has the same power as an Overworld. Or, uh, Overlord. Who would the daughter of an Overlord apply for this job anyway? curious about that as well. What are your motives? I can't tell you that. Why not? I just can't. He's quite stubborn. Anyway, please declare your manifesto. My manifesto is to declare an increase to the quality of life of all demons. I've learned a lot about society ever since I left the castle, where I had many attendants serving under me. If everyone could live a luxurious like life like that, it would help them become more open-minded. Here's the quality of life. That's going to be quite the challenge. There's a simplest solution. Just punish the bad demons and charge them an enormous fine. You say it like that's e uh, say that like it's easy, but who's going to do it? You guys, of course. You can possibly be thinking of making me do all the hard work. Oh, hey. What have you learned so far? You can't earn money if you don't work. I've learned all about how to be an appropriate princess. My manners and social etiquette are far beyond all of yours. I'll share my knowledge with the political party that is leading this netherworld. That will be my job. 
In addition, hiring a princess will help increase your party's social status. Huh, sounds like a good idea. Lessons on manners. She's actually very different from a measle. Huh, she's just a sheltered princess. I've been through way more than her. Well, you kind of brought it all on yourself. Huh, don't you dare underestimate my power. I'm no spoiled brat. I've received the best education money can buy, and I've been trained with all the knowledge of gr uh, great leader needs. Can you see the refined and sophisticated aura emanating from me? In other words, I'm such a refined demon, you can't even compare yourselves to me, understand? <laughs> what did you just say? Then show me what you got. Fine, I shall show you my princess power. It's interesting, you know, how they just use the, I'm going to say the early state of characters. Because specifically, she was only like this in the early part of Disgaea 2, from what I remember. She, I guess, no, it still took her a while to grow up, but it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I don't know. I'd like to go back to Disgaea 2 at some point. Which, speaking of, I hadn't realized this until... Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? This is where Fenrik begin. We're just going to do the same thing as last time. Uh, let's see. I do kind of wish you could almost default just uh, magic change from like the start, because that'd actually be really handy if I didn't have to go through the magic change process every single time. I guess I don't have to, but it's such a good way of getting extra EXP. Hurricane Slash. Oh wow, she's a lot weaker than. Uh, she's a lot weaker than Adele as far as durability goes. Uh, but yeah, speaking of Disgaea too. I've been super confused this entire game about the existence of Axel, because I remembered him as... Like, I knew too much about him compared to all of the other characters, and that confused me, and I couldn't remember if it specifically was because Axel was a... Like, just a, a main character in one of the Disgaea 5 DLCs, because I remember he was kind of prominent in one of those. But no, the answer is... Ax Axel is straight up one of the main characters in Disgaea 2. And I'd totally forgotten about that. It just had been confusing me this entire time. Because he showed up as a seemingly main character in this one. And I just confused the shit out of me. Oh yeah, I won. I can't believe I lost to this brat. I know he's a brat, but he's been through a lot and has worked harder than you think to get to where he is now. I have never used him. My apologies. I assume that I won't be hired either. Would have been able to buy a big house for him if I had this job. It's too bad. Rosalind, would you be... Adele, what are you... You're putting yourself through so much trouble just for my family. And you're doing it all for me. I, I don't know how to express how sorry I am. I'm not doing this for you. It's all for Taro and Hanako. Besides, that doghouse is a bit too tight for the five of us. Well, I suppose doghouse is a bit too harsh, isn't it? Sorry to interrupt, but do you two know each other? That's right. She's a freeloader who's living at my house. Adele applied for the job to support his family and his girlfriend. So Rosalind's your girlfriend? Idiot, how dare you? She's, she's not like that. I see, so I'm not your family. Th that That's not. I'm just giving you a hard time is all. I know what you're thinking. I can read you like a book. Rosalind, you... Ha <laughs> 
just staring at each other? Are they using tele telepathy or something? Such a child. Grow up already. Ah, don't treat me like a kid. They're connected through their hearts. As a woman, I envy what they have. Observing love and romance is good for Desko's studies in becoming a final boss. I bet they're more than just boyfriend and girlfriend. They gotta be married. Rosalind's hired, okay? If you don't hire her, Desko will, not, will annihilate you both. Or should I frame you two for a horrible crime and collect a giant reward for you? <laughs> Women, are super Women are super scary. I don't ever want to get married. I don't know what's going on, but it wouldn't be fair if we only hired one of them if they are married. Very well, we happen to have the perfect position for her, so I suppose we can hire her. They're too busy being in their own little world. They can't even hear us. Seems like it. Well, let's leave these fools and we can start processing the paperwork on our end. That being said, Ros Rosalind joined the party as an educator. Okay, Queen Glitter. Increased stats of adjacent melee units in CHQ? Oh! That's interesting. So, in the um, campaign HQ, if I surround her with male characters, their stats just go up by 10%. That's good. So I don't actually have to use her in combat, she just has to exist. I mean, that's, that's kind of tacky, but that's what she did apply for, so it's not like she's being particularly held back by this situation, even if it is a bit weird. Okay, let's do one more, I think? Maybe two more. Oh boy, we have so many of these. Demon modification. Oh, it's Mao. Please tell us your name and your manifesto. <laughs> My name is Mao. I'm the Dean of Evil Academy with a 1.8 million EQ. The Dean is as powerful as our Netherworld President or Overlords. As for my manifesto, I declare that I will fix up every demon. With my help, even a peon like a printy can become a vicious super alloy robot. <laughs> Just thinking about it is making me... It sounds more like your own personal desire than a manifesto. Eccentric demon. There's still many things that I don't know about the Netherworld. I've heard about demon fusion and fusion magic change. I've never observed such things at the Evil Academy. It's rather interesting. He's getting excited again. Is he a pervert? Huh? You look different. What kind of demon are you? What? Are you talking about Desko? Desko, don't talk to him. He's super suspicious. Uh, okay, big sis. Exists, you say? You have a demon sister, even though you're a human. <sighs> oh, interesting. It's not like that. My dad created Desco. She's my stepsister. Well, I was right. We're gonna pick up some spoilers here. I apologize. I did say that there were going to be spoilers in this. What? A demon created by human? Oh, oh. Hey, you told Desko not to tell him, but you've been talking to him more than anybody else. He's even more excited now. Oops, sorry Desko. Don't worry, big sis. This boy is kind of creepy. I can't hold back anymore. Let me fix you up. What are you going to try to do to my precious sister? Are you going to get in my way? If you do, if you will, then I'll just have to fix you up all at the same time. I would like it if they ported up Disgaea 3 as well. Just because I've never played it. Like, I'm really enjoying this, this little piece of... Uh, I guess I'm going to say history? For... I mean, I don't know. It's just... How would I describe it? Imagine watching Star Wars Episode 1 
And then episodes six. Well, no, that's not really it. It's a good example. I don't know. I guess maybe it would be closer to being like watching Digimon seasons one, three, and four. And being like, well, there's some other seasons, but I just straight up can't watch them. It sucks. I don't know. I don't have a good good comparison here, but it's just like, this truly is one of my favorite series of all times. Like, for, for people that get, like, really jazzed about Pokemon, I get jazzed about Disgaea, uh, Fire Emblem, and Final Fantasy Tactics. Ah. Um, uh, I get really jazzed for those games. Okay. So this time, let's try going in order of damage. Because that combo bonus should make a huge difference. Uh, it's kind of interesting, actually, how much a bunch of relatively venerable series have changed over the years. And how many are still going. I I hope Nippon HE Software is capable of still making, like, a Disgaea 6 at some point. Because, obviously, day one purchase for me. And I'd still like it if they, they ported up HD versions of Disgaea 3. And maybe went back and gave Disgaea 2 the same treatment, so all of them are kind of at the same tier. Uh, I hope we get a Final Fantasy Tactics whatever again at some point. Because we just, I don't know, we haven't had one in forever. And I think current Square Enix might be able to make a really, really good one. Especially if it was the World of Final Fantasy team. Oh, that would be so choice. I'm not a big fan of the most recent Fire Emblem. It was both good and not what I was looking for at the same time. But Disgaea, Disgaea never changes. I I lost to these normal unmodified demons. Ah. <laughs> but that's because I haven't used my full power just yet. What a stereotypical villain villain call out. It just sounds like a loser whining to me. Ah, oh, was it? I won't allow you to act like that in my Hades. Now go home. Huh. Do you expect me to obey your orders? I'm the Dean of Evil Academy. There are tons of interesting test samples here. I'm not leaving the scientific paradise. If you insist on staying here, then we'll have to take you down, Brett. <laughs> Compared to that delinquent, you're no threat to me. <laughs> Desco. Let me fix you up. So you're not going to leave my sister alone, huh? Fine, then I'll just have to seriously beat the crap out of you. I'm here to support you too, Desco. Big sis, Miss Artina. Angels and humans are interesting too. I'll fix up all of... I'll never give up! Now join the party as another science researcher without anyone's consent. What persisted of him? Don't worry, no matter how many times he comes back, we'll knock him back down every time. Exists. I like the fact that it auto saves after every single one. Okay, attack power increased by number of enemy units on the map by 3%. So he uses swords, spears, axes, and staves. Let's see, what are what are his stats? Aptitudes? Okay, so he is attacking int specific. Because I think she very specifically is a gun user. And nothing more. I've always wanted a pure caster type protagonist in a Disgaea game. We haven't really gotten one yet. Not as much. I mean, admittedly, we've got like a measle and kind of sort of flawed. Let's see. Desco's stat growths are pretty good. Oh, but that's because I've been reincarnating them. That gets. That increases aptitudes as well. I forgot about that. I don't remember what the, uh, the maximum cap on that is. 
Okay, we definitely have time for at least a couple more before the end of this episode. And then I gotta go actually get the get the episode up. Power challenge. Huh. What's this intense aura emanating from her? Under who is this woman? Her name is Prierre. She is an overlord from another netherworld. Overlord? I mean, she's on the same level as father, or higher. Used to be a demon hunter in an alternate netherworld. Although, as she sought to reach the peak of her power, she fell down the path of evil and earned the title of Overlord. I don't feel that Claude last. Overlord class party candidate. Bravo, Fenric. Mm hmm. Please, my lord. It would be a great asset if we can add the power of Overlord Prierre to our party. Now, what's she from? Because she was... I thought she, Prierre was from, uh, like, one of the other... Disgaea games. Or, like, a Nipponichi game? Right, she's from La Pousselle, La Pousselle Tactics. And has been, uh, just in many other ones. Was I'm trying to remember. It'd be interesting if they they ported La Pucel Tactics over, because I know that one was slightly different from normal. Huh. I see, it's a Japanese-only release. That's part of the reason why I don't know about it. The game received a port to the PSP in Japan. NIS has since announced that they do not intend to publish this title overseas. I wonder if the reception just wasn't very good. Weird. Shame, but whatever. I don't need allies. As expected. Yes. We shall prove to you, prove your power to her and force her to join. You make it sound like that make it sound like that's easy. We couldn't possibly let her join our party. D Desco will not lose. Desco will protect Big Sis. Now, try to say that line without hiding behind me next time. Everyone, keep your guard up. All of you, die. I think I'd be more jazzed about her if her outfit was, um, less, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll be honest, of the, uh, of the Disgaea games, uh, my roster's starting to get a bit out of hand. Of the Disgaea games, I think Disgaea 4? Hmm. Oh, he can just hit from there. I think Disgaea 4 has my favorite character design so far. Red Magnus and Usalia were damn good. Uh, let's see. Or, Red Magnus and Usalia were really good characters, and I r rather enjoyed them. And they had some fun abilities to play around with. But, like, the main two characters... Or, shoot. Man, I'm starting to forget uh, characters' names. You can tell I really liked Red Magnus and Usali. <laughs> Everybody else was a little bit more tepid on. Laharl, Etna, and Flan. Flan's kind of... I don't know. I mean, they were okay. I just... I like the variety that we're currently dealing with, characters-wise. Okay, she can just do Flying Beast Drake. No? Chorus Hitter? No. Bombat Stick. There we go. That'll hit. Perfect, so I don't have to chuck anybody around anymore. He hit free air. And yeah, at some point I'll go back and finish Disgaea 1, seeing as they did the, like, proper HD re-release. Because I remember they originally ported it to PC and it was just bad. Or, it just wasn't great. But I'd like to go back and finish Disgaea 1 properly, so that we could do some of the alt chapters. Because I, I know there was the, like, what if Laharl died thing. 
And there might have been like one other alt story that you could get access to. And I have never done those. As expected of Anova Lord, so little damage won't do anything to her. What should we do now, my lord? Too weak. <laughs> she insists. I'll just show her the power of sardines. Ha! What? But, my lord, must you obsess about sardines so much? Mr. Vampire. Sardines again. And if Velvetor is still possessed his power as a tyrant, we take her down in no time. Tyrant? Ooh, she seems pretty interested now. Emizel, hurry up and explain it to her. Well, Valvatoris used to be known as Tyrant Valvatoris, and he was really powerful. He was feared both the Netherworld and the Human World, but after a certain incident, he lost his power. Fine, I'll wait. Overlord Pierre has joined the party. Really? Well, that was easy. I wonder if she's going to wait until Mr. Vampire gets his power back so she can fight him. Y you stay away from my lord. You can even compare yourself to my master when he was the tyrant. Oh boy. Looks like Fen Fen has a new problem to add to his list. Okay, so status, Prier. Get another turn when you defeat an enemy with a normal attack. That's not bad. Also, she's considered a monster. So she actually can turn into a baton. Actually, just that baton. A human who fell to the ways of evil due to her abundant thirst for power. Interesting. So yeah, you can actually see the weapons they turn into. So that might actually be really helpful, having uh, one of these characters that can... The only problem is they do not like her weapon form that much. Hmm. I'll think about it. Okay, let's do one, maybe two more. They go by pretty quick, especially it seems like they're they're getting shorter. As we go down, the less main the character is, the less dialogue there is. When the darkness of evil is on the rise, we crash the villainous party. Our seven lights spring to the task and save the, uh, to save the world with courage and hope. With our powers combined, we are the Prism Rangers. I remember these guys. Hey, you, where are the other six? Oh, that's right, I have no friends. I'm one lonely Prism Ranger. That's why I applied for the job. My manifesto is, all demons must be friends. All demons must be Prism Rangers. Won't you join me in the Prism Rangers? Get out, period. No, look at this glowing Prism Crest. Isn't it cool? You've become a Prism Ranger. You can transform with other rangers and become a hero for the children. What? I'm going to be a magical girl way more than a ranger hero. Like a warrior princess. Desco wants to be a final boss magical girl too. If Lady Flan was here, she would totally sign up. Isn't Red the leader? My master is the only man I will serve. I'll never work for you. Even if we don't join the prison rangers... The six of us are already a team. Precisely. We are allies who share a all share a strong bond. As you can see, Prism Red, your proposal is pointless to us. Ha! Huh. So, you already have allies. Well, good for you. Whatever, I'm just gonna be a loader. I don't need any allies. I'm doing just fine on my own. Now he's denying everything about the Prism Rangers. Well, I'm glad you've decided to set out on your own, but I won't let you deny the significance of allies. Very well, I should teach you the lesson, or a lesson, about the significance of camaraderie. 
This poor guy. This is actually one of the first games where the Prism Rangers are recruitable. I think it might be. I've got to rearrange this at some point. This list is only going to get more ridiculous as we go along. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it's kind of my hope that we can pick up a couple of couple more quote-unquote main characters, or named characters, that can match a change. Into the interesting looking weapons. If we can't, it's not the end of the world. Because, yeah, not sure about Pre-Air. Oh, wait, hold on. Pre-Air's attack is, uh, like, her magic change effects or Her evil city is amazing. I, j I didn't even think about it until now, but it's, uh, you just gain another action after, uh, after killing an enemy with a regular attack. Like, putting, in the putting that on Fenric actually is stupid strong. Uh, yeah, okay, we might want to work towards that. Because I don't think I'm going to use her as a character normally, but as a weapon, yeah, I could see that working really well. He gets me XP. A point Labor Minister uh, bill cannot be presented. Cool. Come on, everyone. Let's show them how connected we are as comrades. Whenever a crisis looms over sardines, we appear for the for the promise of sweets. Big Sis and Desco burn with the passion to conquer the world. To save the world with courage and hope. We're all over the place. Together, we six are the heroes of... Uh, my lord, please stop this. Huh? Where I call that's not good enough? No, I mean, that's not the point. Yeah, friends! I want friends too! <laughs> and you should have said so from the... Uh, from the beginning, instead of acting like a jerk. I shall be your friend. Now, rejoice! My lord has no need of friends. The only thing he needs is a loyal vassal. Eh, alright, I guess I'll be your friend too. Me too. I don't want to be a hero, but I don't mind being your friend. Count Desko in. This final boss will also be your friend. Me too. You guys! I must follow my lord's wishes. You bastard, I'll be your friend too. But don't you dare fraternize with me. We're not really friends. Aw, oh, Fen Fen, don't be so shy. Sh shut it, lass. Prism Red has become Valvatoris' and his party member's friend. Good for him. And we can also create Prison Blue. So what's he good at? Friends. Increase stats by 5% times the number of dispatched evil area allies. Oh, I get it. That's... I don't know if I care, care that much about that. It's kind of good, but like... Eh. Other... Other... Eh. Other powers. I guess it could get up to like a 50% bonus. Which still would be pretty good, but whatever. I guess actually at this point, uh, let's see, how many more do we have? New party, more members. Oh boy, we've got at least two more episodes of just collecting DLC characters. <laughs> uh, the problem is the battles are always the exact same, which is just beat the snot out of them. And then there's the actual DLC missions, which I think we're going to leave for later. But for now, I, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.